and we're both in them. Before I start blowing stuff up, because you'll notice this is an exothermic reaction, I want to talk about the red balloon, okay? And hey, not the song, not 99 balloons. Um, this red balloon was floating earlier, and now it's not. That red balloon has hydrogen and oxygen in it. The blue balloon has oxygen. Why does the blue balloon... Cat-like reflexes. Why does the blue balloon fall? It's less dense. Less dense than... Okay, good. It's less dense. So now why does the red balloon fall if it used to have hydrogen in it? No, it's not necessarily that there's more oxygen. There's just not... Graham's law of fusion. Excellent. Uh, <laughs> the hydrogen, there's a small hole in here. And the hydrogen, being lighter, escaped the balloon faster than the oxygen. You'll notice there's still hydrogen in it because it still points up when it does fall. All right, so um, good. Graham's law of fusion. Demonstration just right there, okay? If we had actually brought it down right after I made it, we would have seen it slowly fall during the course of the class. All right, I've only got oxygen in here. What's gonna happen based on that equation right there? It will turn into water. It will turn into water. No, no, it'd just be not <laughs> Uh, what is these? These. Yeah, there you go. Okay. So what's going to happen? Nothing. Oh, what are you gonna Nothing. Do? It's going to pop. Okay. I'm going to ignite them. Oh, well. Oh, it'll burn. Oh. The oxygen won't burn. There's no fuel there. The oxygen itself is the oxidant, but there's actually no fuel. So in this case, Dang it. <laughs> I blew it out, yes, I did. Alright, so in this case. <laughs> yeah, I saw that video, that's hilarious. Oh, oh from last class? Yeah. I'm sure it was. Alright, I'll probably make it good, uh, if not better, this time around also. So in this case, if it's just oxygen, it just pops. Okay. The one that's floating is just hydrogen. So now what's going to happen? Oh. Will they explode? It's going to explode, okay. Will it explode with negative 285.8 kilojoules per mole of heat, assuming that there's a mole of gas in there? Well, there's oxygen in there, so yeah, maybe. So, okay, let me turn those back up. So based on this equation, there's no oxygen in that balloon. What do you think is going to happen? Do I have one and a half moles of oxygen available oh, no. to it? No. Is hydrogen flammable? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Hydrogen is flammable in the presence of oxygen. So oh. when the balloon pops, that reaction is going to suck oxygen from the surroundings to get the reaction to go. Okay? So that oxygen will probably be in substoichiometric amounts. So it'll be a slow, relatively slow reaction. Oh God. No. Oh no. It's all right. Oh, I don't know. Oh. Okay, I'm just gonna leave this lit. No. I need a pump. A pump. A pump. Safety matches. <laughs> there we go, okay. Maybe, maybe. Yay. All right, so in this case, we have a substoichiometric amount of oxygen from the atmosphere. We probably, or we definitely won't get uh, the actual enthalpy for this reaction. So I'm going to hit the lights completely. You guys go, go all right with that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I got enough that I can see. Oh, no. ah, ah. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Woo. All right. So yeah. oh. I'm not going to keep that. <laughs> Do it again. All right. So this one was floating. 
prior to class. This one did have roughly stoichiometric amounts in it. What do you think will happen if it has roughly stoichiometric amounts of hydrogen and oxygen? Really big fire explosions do. It'll go faster, right? And it'll be the complete amount of energy release. So in this case, of enthalpy, heat. All right, so. background going like this. <laughs> All right. So now you see what happens when you have the correct amounts of mm -hmm. reactants, right? That was good. Okay. So, right now, you don't have to It makes me feel uncomfortable. All right, so there is your actual amount of enthalpy. And you'll notice that because I had the, the oxygen and hydrogen mixed, the reaction went much faster. And when it releases much faster, you get a much larger explosion. The other one in which it was just the hydrogen had to get the oxygen from the surroundings, so the reaction was much slower. It was still a big bang, but it was a bit slower, kind of looked like a nice little fun fireball, right? Okay. So, stoichiometric ratios matter when we're talking about thermochemistry.